Okay, let's go. Um, this will be a very shitty tutorial. I mean, the basics will be explained, but uh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, basically, I got uh, Google Pixel 6. Show you how how I uh, how I installed it. I was able to install it after three or four days. But a little bit of struggles here and there. Yeah, Pixel 6. This is what I had and what I installed. Um, I didn't do build yourself, build for yourself, or pick for you. Or I didn't do this. But uh, let's see. Uh, what I did here was get the builds here. Yeah. Integrity. I used the ChatGPT for help. I used Google. I used XDA forums and whatnot and reading and stuff. But uh, let's put it like this. Um, it used to be harder. First of all, um, when you go to downloads, this is not really necessary. All that you really need is integrity plane. Okay, yeah, stuff that also nobody told me. I think this is Google Play Store. Uh, uh, uh. used very much of this I have like 10 minutes of experience with literature that's what I've seen so far I do like but I also saw stuff like important if you reboot into lineage OS before installing Google Apps you must have to reset install them installing Google Apps and you must have to reset then install them otherwise expect crashes this basically means you first install your apps, then you do the factory reset and whatever, and then it works. So keep that in mind. And uh, if this is true, what I'm reading here, what's from the official Lineage US wiki, wiki this means like, um, yeah, I didn't expect this to read this. And this means this is not usable for me. But let's continue. You should be aware of this. Nobody told me this. I read this after the installation. Which brings me to the conclusion that I will install the stock Android. I get less spied on afterwards, you know? So, um, where were we? Uh, you don't need this. Safety net is also shows like the problems involved. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, I didn't sleep so and I'm like, uh, yeah, I didn't sleep deprived, sleep deprivation, um, yeah, so let's see, here you get the specs and whatnot, here is the important part, installation, this is all you need to know, here you have like two of the eight steps, these are like major steps, warning, blah, 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 only do this if you know what you're doing, you know, don't do this like, I don't know, I do something, some parts and I don't do other parts, you may, you might break your device. Okay. Blah, 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 read instruction, good point. Uh, for me personally, I'd say it's, it's not super hard, but it's also not super easy, it's somewhere in the middle ground, you know, for the Google Pixel 6, you know, but... Make sure your computer has ADB and fast boot. The moment you read ADB and fast boot, fuck all this Windows 10 shit. You don't want that. You don't want that. Believe me. You don't want to go down that path. 
I had the same issue with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 11s and I experienced the same issue with the Google Pixel device and I remember having this issue before the whole story short is um, the, the USB ADB drivers are old like I think the newest ones are from 2013 or 17 that's how old these drivers are and because they're so old Windows says these are the driver signature is expired you need a new uh, you need there are two options either you get like newly signed drivers for the signature I don't know SHA 20, 256 checks some value or I don't know how this works or either you get new new drivers or you turn off the driver signature nagging you can do this but then you have to restart reboot retest restart reboot retest uh, command prompts and rebooting and trying out and restarting and rebooting and trying out to find out it's not working because you installed it I have the same issue with the Xiaomi and and, uh, and the same issue with the Google Pixel 6 um, there are two major modes that are important for you ADB Android debugging bridge this is like your smartphone is on online it's turned on and just connected with the PC and then in this mode ADB works pretty easily either it gets automatically detected in the what is it hardware devices manager or or, 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 or you see that um, uh, yeah or you have like the yellow triangle the yellow triangle fuck it man that's why I'm telling you uh, you don't want to go through this I wasted like three days of my fucking life over this in, in this in the last year maybe I, I spent more days a couple of years back but maybe I wasted five or six days in my life just for trying to fuck around with this system it's not worth it because then you have to add legacy hardware okay then you have to automatically or select from a list then you have to decide what you're looking for then you have to name the device and I had like from image it were from, from, from Google I think I don't know if this is yeah where, where is it you know, you know the company Google, right? That's why it's called Le Mobile. Le Mobile. I never heard of this. This, these are like the drivers. Then I read some posts say these drivers are necessary. Other posts say it's not necessary. And then you have to decide. Then you have to try out various dubious like Indian tutorials with like 20 or 30 dead links or old links. And trying to install the ADB bridge, you have to add the uh, add the variable. You know, you have to add the path and whatnot. You have to make the changes. Then you have to run the CMD. Then you might get into the fast boot mode. And in the fast boot mode, the next driver is missing. And then you have to redo this shit again, in hopes of trying brute forcing reading. At this point, at this point, I'd say it's easier if you just learn software engineering, software developing, and write your own the fucking driver because it's not worth it, man. It's just not worth it, and that's why this is the easy method. I'm like talking eight minutes why it's not worth it. The easier method is you do just this, and I hate to break it to you. Um, you type in Linux. Linux Mint. Okay. You open up the Linear Etcher. What's it, what, what it's called? But Balina Etcher. Balina Etcher, yeah. Then you go to download. Theoretically, you have now Cinnamon Edition, Mate Edition, X3 Edition, Cinnamon Edge Edition. And these have like blah blah blah. I don't know. They're a little bit different here and there. There's the explanation. And then you go to download. What you do is download the torrent, usually, or you can download the torrent from the site, I guess. Or, or is it only the torrent? Yeah, either way, you download the torrent, you download Bal Balina uh, Etcher, 
then you install it and uh, I don't know if the, uh, yeah here we have it I still have it installed let's close the shit what you're doing is then select um, the ISO uh, file this is the .iso file from, from mm, the torrent from the Linux Mint homepage where you downloaded the torrent and this is what you use to flash and then you select the flashing device and then you click flash this takes like two or three minutes and that is it after that luckily I I am in this pose of uh, an old laptop where I was able to run this live installation this is a live installation you know this means you can set up this whole stick, but when you shut it down and boot it up again, everything is gone and back to normal. You know, it always resets, it never remembers. It's somewhat uh, temporary storage. It's temporarily writing stuff on the stick. Oh, I do RAM, but after that, oh, Jesus. And after that, uh, it restores this when you reboot. So when you're on Linux Mint, you just, um, wait, where is it, uh, wait, 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 let's be careful with this, I didn't think, I might, I might dox myself, so that's why I gotta be careful, I mean, I saw the dox myself already, still. Because there are a couple of options. Maybe I should uh, progress here. Yeah, make sure password uh, set of instructions can be found here using ADB. Blah blah blah. This is the explanation. ADB is the general smartphone mode, and password is like the BIOS mode, sort of. Yeah. And you see like the various steps on Windows, you know, like five steps. And then it's also five steps so it's way shorter, way easier. It doesn't hurt so much, believe me. And uh, yeah, let's see. So this is just a side note, you know. Either you have a Mac or Windows or Linux, but believe me, Linux was pretty awesome. Uh, it is really good. Okay, false for a set of instructions can be found here. You need Android debug bridge. Yeah, okay, you have the explanation. Comment on Windows. Download the Windows zip from Google. Nah, this was wrong. Download the USB drive here. So when you go to. Okay, you can download. You can agree. Okay, you can download the drivers for Windows. Then you go to install. This is all the steps you have to do. And then, then it still doesn't work. So that's why you go to Linux stuff skip this whole process then uh, let's see where were we oh yes we were at this part i asked in reddit google pick not recognized how it works and everything nice and fast good mode yeah luckily in the normal mode it was recognized and this guy suggested hey man just uh, do a live cd you know did and you, you have the explanation all right what and after doing this this is how you install adb you know? just watch the video and then mm -hmm. after all this is done you know, you're able to progress your next step previous step yeah everything works yeah, 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 yeah. next step blah 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 checking correct firmware be careful and read this stuff. ADB reboot into bootloader. Um, there's also an important part on your smartphone with um, developer mode and USB debugging, but this is like everywhere this manual is out. 
that you need this command and this command in the shell and then you should see your device with a serial number then you type in this and then Jesus Christ um, you get into the part where you flash this and that also via CMD you download it from here this is where all the files are you basically just need one chunk yeah you do this, you flash this, you read this, you read that, and that is it. Steps 6, 7, 8 are what you're gonna see now in the picture. Here in the picture you'll see uh, I typed in the wrong path either or the, the file name is too long, but I think it was too long, file, path name. Then I sort of fixed it, I flashed like everything, I followed the instructions. You see asdf.zip, this is lineage zip. I made a copy, which I'll do now. I was able to flash it. The content stays the same, just the package is renamed differently, but this is not a problem because this is a way too long name to type in. Yeah, and I type in the command and uh, hit enter. And that is it. And after flashing and restarting and restarting and flashing and trying out your file in, in a lineage OS, I think this takes like two and a half or three hours time when you like super experienced and then you still have to wait and extract the type in and flash maybe you can do it in one hour but this would be like a speed run and you know yeah and this is how you flash the, the device 